Welcome back friends. The second part of the question about making the right career choices was about how to avoid negative thoughts about my existing career, about my career path and how it's going to unfold. कि मेरे मन में ये शंकाएं आती हैं मेरे मन में ये इस चीज को लेकर कंफ्यूजन आती है हीन भावना आती है इन्फीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स आता है और नेगेटिव थॉट्स आती हैं अपने करियर को लेके हाउ डू आई एड्रेस दैट सो वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्रिटिकल कंपोनेंट इन टेकिंग केयर ऑफ दिस वेरी क्रॉनिक इश्यू लॉट ऑफ यंगस्टर्स दे सफर फ्रॉम दिस इज टू अंडर अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू विल सफर नेगेटिव थाट्स अबाउट योर करियर चॉइस ओनली वेन यू आर कंपेयरिंग योर सेल्फ विद अदर पीपल कंपेरिजन is probably one of the strongest root causes of why you're feeling negative right comparison with others or comparison according to your own expectations that this is what i had thought i will achieve but this is what i'm doing and the gap is going to bother you a lot that comparison and the second second comparison between you and someone else please keep in mind your career journey is not a war to defeat somebody else ab jang nahi lad rahe hain kisi aur ko neecha dikhane ke liye aapko kisi ko kuch साबित नहीं करना है आपको खुद को कुछ साबित करना है और आपको धीरज रखना है यू हैव टू हैव पेशेंस टू सी द अनफोल्डिंग ऑफ योर ओन जर्नी इट्स नॉट इफ यू विल इफ यू विल वर्क और इफ यू विल प्लान योर करियर विद अ वॉर मेंटेलिटी और आई गॉट अ डिफीट समबडी मेंटेलिटी यू गोइंग टू लिव विद अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस आप अपनी जर्नी को एंजॉय नहीं कर पाएंगे और मेरा मानना है क्या फायदा है उस करियर के टॉप पे पहुंचने का वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ रीचिंग द पीक ऑफ योर करियर If when you get there, you are exhausted, um, you are experiencing burnout, you are not healthy anymore, you haven't enjoyed the journey. So it's very very important that you understand that your career is not a hundred meter dash. Exams do tend to be a hundred meter dash. पांच दिन पहले भी तैयारी शुरू की पूरा रट्टा मारा सब्जेक्ट को पिछले पांच साल के पेपर उठाए और उसको प्रिपेयर किया. That that that's a hundred meter dash mentality. Your career is not a hundred meter dash. It is a marathon. so you have to divide your energy you have to preserve your energy with that sort of mindset that i'm running a marathon and even if i'm a little bit behind right now main ho sakta hai apne um peers se thoda piche reh gaya hu apne doston se apne jo mere classmates se thoda piche reh gaya hu is samay but that's irrelevant because academic environment ke results aur real world environment ke results un dono ki hum dono ko hasil karne ki techniques badi different hoti hain aur ek category ke log एकेडमिक एनवायरनमेंट में ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल होते हैं और एक कैटेगरी के लोग कई बार रियल वर्ल्ड एनवायरनमेंट में ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल निकल आते हैं एंड दीज आर टू एंटायरली डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स ऑफ पीपल समटाइम्स यू विल सी विद ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट टू द टॉपर्स इन एवरी इंस्टीट्यूट समटाइम्स यू विल सी यार वो हमारे क्लास के टॉपर्स कहाँ चले गए क्योंकि रियल वर्ल्ड के चैलेंजेस इतने एकेडमिक वर्ल्ड से काफी डिफरेंट होते हैं सो द नंबर वन फैक्टर दैट यू गॉट कीप इन माइंड इज इफ यू आर फीलिंग नेगेटिव थाट्स अगर आपको डिप्रेशन हो रहा है इस चीज को लेके जस्ट आस्क योर सेल्फ एम आई कंपेयरिंग विद समन एल्स दैट्स नंबर वन एंड नंबर टू एम आई कंपेयरिंग टू वट आई सी अबाउट समन एल्स यू नो स्पेशली सोशल मीडिया इज अ बिग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर टू दिस फैक्टर बिकॉज वॉट यू सी ऑन सोशल मीडिया अबाउट समबडी एल्सिस लाइफ समबडी एल्सिस करियर इज द केयरफुली सेलेक्टेड फिल्टर्ड टेन परसेंट right so the images the moments captured everything is very very carefully selected and it's um, put on a hundred filters and you know the nice sort of descriptions that's a 10% of somebody else's life the mistake that you might make is you're comparing the 10% of somebody else's life with the 90% of your life so you're you're comparing the tip of an iceberg of somebody else's life experience with your entire iceberg with your entire existence and you're bound to be depressed you're bound to be negative because there is so much more to life there is so much more of the other person's struggle that you're not able to see you're just seeing that little bit that he or she is carefully planning to put out on social media to create or feed a certain image that they want it to to exist right you on the other hand are comparing that 10% with the uh, all sort of things of your life with the struggles with the unpleasant things with the uh, things that you wish go away and thereby that comparison is self defeating so agar aap wo comparison kar rahe hain to aap you are going to feel negative so avoid that at all costs right and whenever you are caught in that trap just remind yourself jo dikhta hai wo hota nahi hai jo hota hai wo dikhta nahi hai let me repeat this once again jo dikhta hai social media par wo actual mein kai bar hota nahi hai aur jo hota hai wo social media pe kai bar dikhta nahi hai so avoid this trap of comparison on social media 
and things that you might be comparing yourself with other people on things like money or status or power or marks that somebody secured in a certain examination, these are all very superficial things, right? Life experience is a very multi-dimensional experience. Uh, things that we cannot measure. I think it was Albert Einstein who said, everything that um, can be counted does not necessarily count. Everything that can be counted does not necessarily count in your life experience. And everything that counts cannot necessarily be counted. And those things that they keep the importance of it, sometimes it's difficult to measure. Things like happiness, for example. Things like peace of mind. Things like your fitness and health. Things like your relationships. Things like your spiritual enrichment. Your connection with the divine. These are all aspects of a balanced life. But in these things, measure karna or compare karna is very difficult. So remember, what you see is not what happens, and what happens is not what happens. It doesn't happen many times, and it doesn't happen many times, and people don't want to see it. So there are two very different categories. Um, the second thing I want, if you're experiencing um, negative thoughts about your career, the second thing I want you to understand is the power of cycles and phases. Every individual's life will go through certain phases of struggle, certain phases when things are going against that individual. There will be some phases when life will not go with you. It's going to be a test. Because I had an academic environment from the first comparison, so I will repeat this thing. That life, 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 is more than the master. The master gives the master the master, then the master gives the master. And life gives the master the master, then the master gives the master. So this process is reversed. So this is why struggles and phases of cycles understand. Every individual has to has to go through some of these difficult cycles in their life. It can be for you before and after someone else. But when you are going through that phase, you will think, why did this happen to me? Why is everybody else leading a comfortable life? Things are going well in their life. Why am I going through this cycle? And all you have to remind yourself is, it's just a phase. It's just a phase. Let me tell you this. If you're going through a good cycle right now, good phase right now in your life, enjoy and be thankful. It might not last forever. If you're going through a difficult cycle, difficult phase in your life right now, go through it with a smile on your face. It is definitely not going to last forever. So we are going to go through these different cycles and the timing of these cycles are going to be very, very different from you and your classmates and your colleagues. So don't journalize. And what I mean by don't journalize is if you're going through a tough phase, don't journalize that the rest of your life is going to be like that. A phase aapki puri life ko define nahi karta. And how you go through the fire determines your character, determines it builds up your internal character of how you will face the rest of your life. So if you're going through a difficult time, put on a smile and go through it and take it as a lesson that life is going to teach you because usse jo seekhi hui cheeze hain, the things that you're going to learn from that particular experience are going to be so rewarding, no university, no course can teach you that. So understand, if when you're talking about your career, there could be phases that you might be going through. You're going through that particular phase, other people might not be, don't compare. And, you know, I think this is um, coming from a African-American tennis player, Arthur Ashe. So it's it's an urban legend. I'm I'm not sure how far this is true, but internet pe kafi viral tha ye kuch time pehle uh, where when he um, went through a blood transfusion or Arthur Ashe ko I think he he um, got infected with HIV because the blood was uh, you know HIV infected. Those ke fans ne usko itni letters bheji Arthur. We are so sorry for you. We are so sad to hear this. Why did it have to be you? You're such a nice human being. You know, um, you're a philanthropist and a good human being. Why you, Arthur? Why you? Don't you ask God, why me? And so the, so the email that I got, so it goes, that Arthur um, replied, he said, uh, you know, millions of kids start learning how to play tennis every year. Out of them, only a few hundred thousand make it to playing tennis professionally. Out of that, a very minuscule percentage actually go on to play to bigger levels of national level events or international level events. Out of them, a very select few actually go on and play the Wimbledon and other big events. And out of them, one wins. And I won so many times. 
And at that point of time, I never questioned God. God, why me? Why did you select me to win the Wimbledon? And now this thing has happened to me. Why should now I ask God? Why should I ask God now? Why me? I have to accept it in the flow of life. So sometimes you're going to go through a tough cycle, put a smile on your face, make the very best out of it, and do not compare yourself with other people because everybody has to go through these different cycles. Number three, the grass will always appear to be greener on the other side. Appear to be greener on the other side. But the grass will always become greener where you water it, where you put in your efforts, where you put in your time and you devote your energy and you devote your commitment and your passion. That is where the grass is going to go grow greener. But grass will appear to be greener on the other side, right? So you have to be, again, uh, aware of the fact that something out there or somebody else's life might appear picture perfect because that's the way it's presented to be. And you might be questioning your own, you know, everything that you received in your life and saying it's not good enough because that looks much better. And I want you to avoid that. I want you to practice gratitude and thankfulness. Thinking about the things that you have today that you didn't have yesterday. Friends, what you have today might be your dream yesterday. You might be desperately praying to the Almighty, I need that thing. And then when you have it, we start taking it for granted. We even, we even stop being thankful for it because it's there now, it's present. We're not longing for it anymore. So be thankful for whatever you've received and do not fall into the trap of um, looking at things from a distance which may look to be picture perfect because nothing in life is picture perfect. No career choice is going to be picture perfect. Every career option that you will choose will have some elements that you will dislike, some elements that you wish that they should go away. But you have to remember that that is life. I was asked a question on the Ask Simarjit series. Why is the world so unfair? And my answer was, welcome to planet Earth. It's an unfair planet. And before you get your own planet, you got to get used to the rules of this planet, how things work. No matter what career choices you make, friends, there's always going to be a few aspects which you will dislike that you wish should not exist. But you have to understand by and large, am I getting satisfaction or not, right? And to understand that work will demand sacrifices from you to get something worthwhile. I call it the law of paying the price. If you don't pay the price with your efforts, with your intellectual labor, with your physical labor, you're not going to get the results, right? So be aware of the fact that don't let the first difficult thing turn you off. Don't let the first hurdle um, prompt you into saying, I made the wrong choice. You know, in that case, you'll be moving from one option to another and you will never settle on anything. So you have to understand every career choice will have some disadvantages and the sum total of that is called life. You know, dealing with the sum total of these challenges and the good things and the bad things all rolled together. So I will finish with the quote by Professor Randy Posh. You all must have heard his YouTube video or read his book called The Last Lecture in which Professor Randy Posh, he said this, uh, we cannot control uh, the cards we are handed. Um, we can only figure out how we play the hand. We can't control the cards we are given, you know, the cards we are dealt with. We cannot control the cards we are dealt with. We can only control how we play the hand. So you can't control all the things that come into your life experience. What you can control is whether you make the best out of them or not. Thank you for watching.